We're here at the Haymarket Whiskey Bar in downtown Louisville, Kentucky with the Physics Countertop Draft Machine. This is a $170 machine that's supposed to take your bottled beer and make it taste like it came from the draft. It's also nicely designed and really easy to use. You just put your bottle into the machine, seal the lid, and pull the handle forward, and it'll pour your beer nice and gently. Push the handle back, and it'll add that foamy head. Oddly enough, it's supposed to do this by using sound. Apparently, the frequency of the machine causes vibrations in the carbonation to give your beer that nice draft-like head. I thought it sounded like infomercial mumbo jumbo, but we've been testing this, comparing physics beers to the same beers from the bottle, and it really does make a difference. It gives your beer a nice head every single time and it actually does smooth out the flavor. Now, we didn't find that to be consistently a good thing. Like on some hoppy beers and on bitter porters, it actually ended up smoothing over part of that bitterness, which is part of the character of the beer. So it definitely makes a difference, but we really wanted to see how it stacks up against actual draft beer. So we asked Matt Landon, owner of the Haymarket Whiskey Bar, to do a blind taste test, comparing a single beer in draft form, bottled form, and from the physics, side by side by side, to see if he could tell them apart and to see which one he preferred. Here's what he had to say. Okay, beer number three was out of the bottle. Beer number two was draft, and beer number one was through the gizmo. Mm. Beer number one had the most com uh, carbonation. It tasted the most draft-like. It tasted more draft-like than even the draft beer. What about number two kind of tipped you? That it was actually draft? It had more of a head. Whoa. Did I have them wrong? Did I have them reversed? Was one the draft and two the two gizmo? Was, yeah. Um, mm, bummer. I did the same taste test, and I found that just like with the beers in the office, it does make the beer taste different, if not necessarily better. All right, so beer number one. Beer number two. Beer number three. Really close. I'm going to go three is the bottle. I'm going to go two is the draft. And I'm going to go one is physics. Um, well, of course, they've been sitting out for a moment or two, so they're kind of all equalized. So, they, so they've equalized a little bit, but it, it, it's good that they've equalized because if the effect is only temporary, then it's not as good. And you can taste the difference between the draft and between physics and between the bottle. The, the draft is still the best one because the hops come out the most. You do lose some of that with the physics on this beer, but it does taste more carbonated than the bottled version, so it's a step in the right direction. It, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, it is cool. It definitely made the beer taste more like fresh beer on draft. But I think if you're really into beer at home, you're looking to put a draft system in not buy a battery-operated gizmo that you feed at beer one at a time. So all in all, it's a cool machine, it's well-designed, it's easy to use, and if you're really passionate about beer and really value the creamy and the sweet aspects, it might be worth the money. If you value more the bitter aspects of your beer, this machine might actually take something away from your drinking experience. I wanna say thanks again to the guys at Haymarket Whiskey Bar for letting us use their space and be willing participants in our test. For more, be sure to check out my full review on CNET.com. For CNET, with the physics countertop draft system, I'm Andrew Gebhardt.